I know that I would be a very different person than, than I am today if I hadn't have grown up playing soccer because I've learned such important life lessons through playing the game. Football mornings, I'm waking up at five o'clock and my parents don't even wake up for that. And I'm already on the field. That's the hard work that we all pitch in for and it's all for one cause. They called the play, I went up for the pass, I caught the ball, got hit. All I remember is the coach told me not to go back in the game. When I first saw him, he walked off, he looked tired, and I thought, okay, we'll, you know, get this checked out afterwards. I wasn't concerned. I went to pick him up at the locker room after the game, and he couldn't walk a straight line. So at that point, I was very concerned. I had no idea I had a concussion until the next morning. I wouldn't remember 10, 15 seconds in intervals I would forget. And so that would, like, I wouldn't remember that I was forgetting. I was scared to death for my son. And that was like, as a parent, your worst nightmare. So on the field, when we look at concussions, there's really no way to, to know for sure if a kid has a concussion. We want to try and evaluate them right away, and so we can pull them out of a situation where they might do more damage. If a kid has a concussion, and they were to receive a second concussion while they're still recovering, um, this is where you can run into some of the long-term problems and some of the really serious health concerns. Anytime we have objective data that's specific to the athlete and to their specific concussion, we want to utilize that as best possible neurocognitive evaluation, uh, baseline testing, blood flow testing with neurochaos. These are the newer modalities that we're using. This is part of a very comprehensive and ever-evolving topic in medicine. Baseline testing really helps us to confidently return athletes to play as soon as possible and as safely as possible. So the neurochaos test is very objective in that there's no bias from the patient, and that's just what the data is. With that data, we can then confidently say, well, this is how you scored when you were healthy. We know that, that you're back to your baseline now. Having that baseline and, and knowing that we had that to, to fall back on gave us a, a lot of peace of mind. It allowed that really show us exactly here's normal and then what happens throughout kind of the life cycle of the injury. We have three boys, so it's very important that they're active. Taking sports away is really not an option. Um, that's how they get their social interaction as well as their um, physical outlet. Having the neurochaos testing and being able to see that he was improving and had healed was crucial in our decision in letting him continue to go forward with playing. My job as a coach is to really make the decision that will ensure the health and the safety and the full recovery in its own time of our student athletes. Creating the healthy habits on and off the field are so important for really helping them to develop their, their full potential. At this point, I, I am expecting to go to Army West Point to continue my football career. I think sports and especially football, it really, it helps build a person and I would not be the person I am today with the work ethic I have, definitely the toughness I've had physically and mentally. It, it really helps grow a person that is coming of age. As a doctor, as a parent, I do think that this is a valuable tool. You don't know when your child is gonna have a concussion and hopefully they don't, but accidents happen. It absolutely will help the clinician in the predictability of a concussion if that occurs, not to mention it really does help in the emotional weight that happens when there is a concussion.